Welcome to this short meditation of hope. I invite you to find a place to sit or to lay down for the next 10 or 15 minutes. Making sure you feel comfortable and warm enough and that you are in a place where you will be uninterrupted for the duration of this meditation. Adjusting and readjusting your body as much as you need to until you're feeling comfortable. giving yourself permission to let go completely and to be open to this invitation to allow your mind and body to relax and to be open to the suggestion that there's always hope even in darkness. And so we'll begin with a few slow, long, deep breaths. And each time you breathe in, breathe all the way down into your stomach. Breathe in slowly through your nose and allow your abdomen and lungs to expand with life-giving air. After drawing in a long deep breath, allow your breath to flow back out through your mouth or nose, whichever is more comfortable for you today. Continue to breathe deeply in your own time and pace. Just let go of each breath and with it release any tension or stress you might have been holding on to. Take another slow, deep breath in. Just gradually fill your lungs and abdomen. And when they are full, release that breath completely. And you are beginning to feel yourself relaxing as your breath dissolves any tension or anxiety or stress. And now I invite you to allow your breath to settle, to become more natural and gentle. To allow your body to feel heavy. Allow your muscles to melt, skin to soften, bones feeling heavy. 
happy now. You can look at the sunset and smile. If you can find beauty in the colors of a small flower. If you can find pleasure in the movement of a butterfly. Then you still have hope. The smile of a child can still warm your heart. If you can see the good in other people. If the rain breaking on a rooftop can still lull you to sleep. Then you still have hope. If the sight of a rainbow still makes you stop and stare in wonder. If the soft fur of a favoured pet still feels pleasant underneath your fingertips. If you give people the benefit of a doubt then you still have hope. If receiving an unexpected card or letter still brings a pleasant surprise, if the suffering of others still fills you with pain and frustration, then you still have hope. If you look forward to a time or place of quiet and reflection, if you can look to the past and smile, then you still have hope. If, when faced with the bad, when told everything is futile, you can still look up and end the conversation with the phrase, yeah, but, then you still have hope. Hope is such a marvellous thing. It bends, it twists, it sometimes hides, but rarely does it break. It sustains us when nothing else can. It gives us reason to continue and the courage to move ahead when we tell ourselves we'd rather give in. Hope puts a smile on our face when the heart cannot manage. Hope puts our feet on the path when our eyes cannot see it. Hope moves us to act when our souls are confused of the direction. Hope is a wonderful thing, something to be cherished and nurtured and something that will refresh us in return. 
and it can be found in each of us and it can bring light into the darkest of places. Never lose hope. And now, as you slowly begin to bring your awareness back into the room, gently beginning to reawaken the mind and the body. Becoming more and more aware of the present. Of what is happening now. May you be hopeful. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy and live with a joyful heart. May you be healthy and live with a body that gives you energy. May you be safe and protected from harm. And so I invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose now. And exhale slowly through the mouth. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Taking one more deep cleansing breath in. And slowly exhale. Release and let go completely. In the words of the Dalai Lama, I find hope in the darkest of days and focus in the brightest.